started last year. When I got on the meeting Discovering new talents and of course all of these things the uh image of the so that we have in relation to our community. So because of that, So uh, this year, this year we are going to focus on really uh, discovering new talents, as well as showcasing what are we already going to do for the Last year, our focus was about discovering and promoting our local tourist destination. So this year, we are going to do that. Well, it was uh, it was really a serious problem. It's just that our goal is to make students and designers and give them the chance to showcase their talent. So we can focus on this. So we focus on the designers that are done that we have many potential yet put in this So from then on, don't come to the heart. Now, actually, Initially, we announced five, but we gave consideration to the other one. Because we saw that we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, so if it's a big show, I'm going to do it. So, um, to answer that question, yes, we are going to promote our local talents this year. We are going to have a challenge to promote the tourist destinies. So, uh, maybe sa mga katikin pa kami, mas lalo pa kung makikilala or mas lalo pa makikilala ang social media. Okay, uh, so yun eh, Yuri. <laughs> Okay, update nga yung tourism industry dito sa may iba tayo na uh, tourism industry dito sa tourism industry. Ano, ano na yung status dito? Okay, sa uh, uh, pandemic dito. Well, because of COVID, sir, ngayon, um, medyo slowly, we're opening the uh, business establishment to uh, for now, because wala pa naman um, official guidelines from the National IETF may mm -hmm. provide to us, but we're following the um, executive order of the local mm -hmm. government that we are focusing on the uh, local, uh, the local uh, clients and from the mm -hmm. So, kahit pa paano, wala naman siguro ang uh, lugar sa Pilipinas na hindi nagdira ko sa buong na hindi nagdira ko sa mm -hmm. pandemic, but at least sometimes for the right tourism industry is right. Right. Because of the uh, pandemic then, we were able to discover in the program, which is very famous, just last year, the features in the three times on the national television, and right now we have Pansada, and uh, our good governor, Dr. Tengma Mudadato, even initiated, uh, initiated um, AIDS, uh, para doon sa mga local tourist destination natin, kung saan nagbibigay ng financial aid ng ating mga governor para mag-develop ang ating local tourist destination. National? May itulong ba ito? May itulong ba ito? I don't think meron tayo ngayon, meron meron last year. Ngayon parang wala, pero last year meron ang Columbia, naka-avail ata sila ng naka-avail sila ng programa galing sa national department of tourism. Pero this year, syempre, February pa lang po, March pa lang, so wala pa po. But hopefully, with the efforts na may ginagawa ng national government, I think, matutulungan naman nila ang lahat ng tubig. Alam, 
Given the chance, talagang kaya nila mag-shine. Pangalawa, with the great support coming from the official government and also from the municipal or city government, talagang mas lalo pa natin makutun or makakasa yung planet. We were actually, you know, I wasn't really expecting the kind of outputs na nagawa na, the kind of crafts na natapos nila in just five hour period. But, um, it just only shows how resilient and you know adaptive so that they are as to get ano man na isa kahit ano man na kinakaharap kahit ano difficulty pero nakakaasap pa rin oh ayan oh sir may matanong eh may topic niya may mga potential for development of uh tourism in the region sa Bandar niya may potential na para mag-develop ito ng tulipin yung dito sa bayan niyo? Actually sir, kaya lang yan sabi ko kanina, maraming ginagawa ng tulong or ginagawa ng effort ng provincial government to develop the tulipin yung industry. Financial aid, of course, initiated by Gautang ng mga dato, kung saan nagbibigay kami na tulong doon talaga sa mga loka, identify local tulipin sa pagkakas, local tulipin sa pagkakas, which is identified by the local chief executive of each respective municipality. I think it's enough. It's just it's more than a start. We are actually on our way in developing our tourism industry. Thus, in the pa natin yung four by four by four project ni Governor Ken Miradato. Kung saan ang gusto niyong mangyari, maging accessible lahat at maayos ang daan sa Sultan Kodarat. So you can only imagine yung mga liblib na lugar na may mga ganda tourist destination hindi pa natin napupunta. So, we have already started and we are very optimistic that in the near future, Sultan Kodarat will become the most preferred to this destination. Sir, may katanungan po ako, sir. After this modeling, ano, for searching pageant designers, so, ito pong output nila ng mga dinesign nila, saan po ito mapupunta? Based sa guidelines natin, lahat ng output nila mapupunta sa atin. Plus, unang-una, punta sa provincial government rather, because unang-una, lahat ng materials na ginamit nila is provided by the provincial government through the provincial tourism services office under the provincial government office. And then, yung mga outputs po nila is isa-showcase natin doon sa main lobby natin para lahat ng bibisita sa ating provincial capital, makikita nila yung mga nagawa ng ating designers with their corresponding name, number, and Facebook account para kung sakali na may magpa-design sa kanila, mas madali sila mahakana. Oh, okay, uh, last sa akin, no? Ang uh, in our industry, kumusta na, uh, sir? Ang in our industry, sir, actually, uh, is it's actually being shown not just in our country, but oh, also global, in the uh, international. Global. So, I, our Ina Oil fabric is known not just here in but Asia, yes. but really internationally, globally. Like mm -hmm. So I think it's doing good, it's doing well. <coughs> and uh, seeing the potential of the Ina Oil fabric, what it can actually be, you know, what, what can it be done to it, I think mas malayo pa yung mararating, mas malayo pa siyang makikilaya. Oh, good. Ikaw na, cross na. Na-cross mo na. Panawagan mo na lang po sa lahat po na makakapanood po ni Tang Ani. Parting words. Parting words. Yes, sa lahat po na nanonood ng ating... Sa lahat po na nanonood sa ADL SMTV. Nice FM. And Nice FM also. Okay, okay po. Sa lahat po na nanonood sa Nice FM, inaanihan po namin kayo na gusto tayo ng Sultan Kodarat. Because sa Sultan Kodarat, lagi na... Lagi namin sinasabi na kompleto po kami dito, mapakapatagan, kabundukan, karagatan, mm -hmm. lahat meron kami dito. Mm -hmm. And we're just 
really I know, happy to be able to welcome you all because what we wanted to show is not only the tourist destination but also the rich culture and the people itself. Kaya nga lagi namin sinasabi na sa Sultan Kaldara, sikat ka at tayo ang tourist. Magkita ng pangalan mo siya, magkita ng pangalan. And again, this is Yuri Sinigaya, the SK Pendro and Concerned Oasis Provincial Tourism Office. Thank you very much, sir. Salamat, salamat. And congratulations.